scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So let me walk you through the equation of faith, New Heritage Baptist Church, just to open us up to uh, the character of faith and the way that faith works. And there is no other person who will guide us in understanding the subject of faith like the patriarch Abraham himself. It is very, very important. I think it was Isaiah 51. Let, let me turn there myself. Uh, um, Isaiah 51. We'll read from verse 1 and 2. Isaiah 51. We're discussing the law of faith now. The law of faith. Hearken to me... <clears throat> All ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye were hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye were dead. Verse 2. Look unto Abraham your father. Now, let me explain this scripture. Look unto means observe. Go back like a student studying the notes of a lecturer. The Bible says the things that are written at four times, it says they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope. So the Bible says understudy Abraham your father. The word father there is the originator of this system. I'm about to deal with faith and I have used a man to personify this system. Understudy Abraham your father, he says. And unto Sarah that bear you, it says, For I called him alone, and I blessed him, and I increased him. That means follow his path. But resting on this, Paul in Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15 tells us to follow them, he says. The them here are Abraham your father, Sarah your mother, and all who have followed them. He says, Okay, he says, So after he had patiently endured abraham now he obtained the promise obtained the promise he obtained it so we're going to just look very quickly listen god spoke to was terah his father god called the father and for some reason uh, things did not work out for him he did not seem to comply and now we get to 12 verse 1 and the lord said unto abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show you now this year i don't know about you but this for me is the spelling of risk get out verse one again please get out of your country number one and then when you are in your country don't keep in touch with your kindred and then number three leave your father's house I don't know the name of whoever obeys this kind of instruction but when you leave your relatives when you leave your family both spiritual and physical when you leave your country you are almost a fugitive and a vagabond and now he says leave to a I will show you Lord how do I know when I arrive there what is the name of that land at least give me a clue and if you obey me verse 2 this is what follows I will when he was saying this it was not yet a reality in abraham's life i will make of thee a great nation hallelujah i will bless thee i will make thy name great i wish i had time for us to walk this 
that you are not great until your name is also great it says oh lord our god how excellent is your name and thou shall be a blessing verse 3 it says i will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curseth thee and in thee shall all families all the families of the earth be blessed be blessed genesis chapter 15 goodness genesis chapter 15 we're exploring the patriarch abraham as a way and a guide to understand the law of faith we're going to read the first six verses genesis 15 after these things he said the word of the lord came unto abraham in a vision remember faith always starts with the word of the lord faith does not just start with our pain alone faith does not just start with the awareness of our limitations faith the process of faith starts when the word of the lord comes it says the word of the lord came unto abraham in a vision saying fear not abraham i am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward verse 2 it says and abraham said lord god what will thou give me seeing that i go childless so this is a man trusting god for uh, a child trusting god for an opportunity that produces continuity and the steward of my house is this eliezer of damascus and abraham said behold to me thou hast not given no seed to me thou hast given no capital to me thou hast given no destiny helper to me thou hast not provided what becomes an advantage a basis for security of my tomorrow he says and lo one born in my house is my heir that means no one within i cannot boast of saying i have someone who can represent my tomorrow verse 4 and behold the word of the lord came unto him saying this shall not be thy heir this is a prophetic word already for someone someone is already beginning to create alternatives to say lord it looks like you will not do what you have said so maybe let me begin to consider lesser alternatives and god is saying no alternatives you told me i will prosper in lagos i came to lagos you told me i should come to new heritage baptist church but as it is now we're in 2020 uh and it looks like where well, this is august the eighth month and it looks like nothing is already showing forth in my life and i'm already giving you options to say lord it looks like you will not bless me someone needs to pray and tell god in this conference my faith is fired up lord i return back to that which you told me i believe you i believe you i believe you the person who will bless me you have told me that my children will feed me you have told me you will not leave me in shame but as it is none of my children have jobs and it looks like shame and reproach is all that i'm seeing and i'm about to even pray i was about to pray that you will use my neighbor or you will use my relatives to at least bless me but now you are speaking to me that by the law of faith i must return back to believe you that you are able that you are able that it will come from me i don't have to outsource it from somewhere else very very powerful thank you jesus hallelujah verse 5 and he brought him forth abroad and said look now unto heaven abraham now and tell the stars count the stars if thou be able to number them and he said unto him so shall thy seed be verse 6 the character of faith and he abraham who the bible has mandated that we understudy the bible says abraham believed god to believe means to perceive as true to believe means to agree that you are truthful to agree to attest to your integrity and to your ability that's what it means to believe i am convicted number one about your integrity and number two i am convicted about your ability when you say you believe a thing or you believe god you are attesting to two attributes number one integrity number two ability please understand this while dissecting faith there can never be the manifestation of faith when there is no conviction about integrity and ability integrity is the quality of faithfulness the quality of truthfulness that god is not a man that he should lie 
nor the son of man so if god says i will bless you i will make your name great when you consider what he has said as true that means you have faith you believe his integrity but when you know that the word makes all things you now believe in his ability most people believe in god's integrity but they do not believe in his ability others believe in his ability god can do it but they do not believe in his integrity will god do it so faith listen please listen listen please listen to me people of god when you want to manifest faith you must trust god through scripture to have an encounter that produces conviction over god's integrity comes from the word integer sameness unbendableness faithfulness trustworthiness god's integrity are failing but lord bring me back to that position even in this conference and through this word where i understand that your name is not only the mighty god you are not only el shaddai you are also faithful and true faithful of god i worship you you're the king of kings lord of lords you are faithful and true lamb of god i worship you john spoke about the rider upon the horse and he said his name is faithful and true faithful and true but i know whom i have believed he said and i am persuaded persuaded regardless of what i see regardless of what i hear i am persuaded mm. hallelujah abraham believed god he was convicted about god's integrity and convicted about god's ability convicted about god's integrity convicted about god's ability now watch this the way faith works is that god was fair enough to leave a compendium of his deeds with men it would be wrong for god to just arbitrarily ask us to trust him no you don't ask people to trust you arbitrarily no 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 you can you can you can dare people to take the risk but then if you want people to trust you you must be able to give people um a, a little compendium of what you have done before who trusted you that you did not fail so genesis to revelation the logos of god is a compendium of the dealings of god with people listen this bible is full of several people let's go to hebrews 11 we are we are about to cross examine whether this god is worthy of our trust whether this god has the ability now faith is paul says the substance of things hoped for the evidence the tangibility of the things not seen it says for by it the elders whoever they were great men patriarchs men who lived before us many of them who understood abraham many of them who walked with god even before abraham the bible says they all obtained a good report verse 3 it says through faith we understand that the worlds were framed starting point that the worlds were framed by the word of god here it is again so that the things which are seen were not made of the things which do appear verse 4 by faith the bible says abel offered unto god a more excellent sacrifice than cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous god testifying of his gift and by it he being dead yet speaketh five by faith the bible says my god enoch was translated by faith the business was translated by faith the ministry was translated so that what should have happened does not happen by faith it says and he was not found because god had translated him if god can translate a man he can translate a family 
he can translate a business he can translate a condition he said for before his trans his translation he had this testimony that he pleased god six he says but without faith it is impossible now we're talking of possibilities now the first time in hebrews the bible is talking of impossibility that it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to god here is the rule that when you come to god you must come believing number one that he is the word he is that means he exists he's real then number two he's the rewarder of them that diligently seek him he's the rewarder of the men and women of god that seek him he's the rewarder of those who need his hand that seek him the law of faith now every result in the kingdom please understand this every result in the kingdom is governed by conditions if you're writing write conditions and underline it i'll tell you why many believers do not see the outstretched arm of god even though they keep speaking and confessing but the bible is like a treasure or a gold mine a treasure place the spirit of god leads you to relevant scriptures stories parables now watch this generally speaking this bible contains three things understand this i want to break it down now this bible contains three things number one it contains promises the bible contains promises the things that god vowed that he would do number two the bible contains prophecies number three the bible contains principles so every time i study the bible i am looking for three things one i am looking for principles two i am looking for promises three i am looking for prophecies so when we read the bible we're not just reading the bible like a novel that we're reading just for education and enlightenment alone i am searching what has god said concerning me jeremiah 29 and verse 11 i know the thoughts that i think towards you joshua selman said the lord i know the thoughts that i think towards you new heritage baptist church saith the lord he says they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end so i know that god is thinking about me that's the first information it is a blessing to know that god is thinking about me then number two it is good to know that whatever he's thinking are thoughts of peace you see there are people who think about you but they might not be thoughts of peace and he says a terrorist for instance can be thinking about a nation and the thoughts are not thoughts of peace he's thinking but to destroy an arm robber can be thinking about a family but the thoughts are not thoughts of peace so the bible is saying that god is thinking and his thoughts are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end so i begin to search by the spirit open down my eyes that i may behold wondrous things out of thy law you see so I, I need to find out the principle allocated for kingdom wealth and the favor of God. I need to find out the principle allocated for excelling in ministry. I need to find out the principle that are allocated for raising children properly. I need to find out the principle for restoration of anything lost. I need to find out the principle allocated for dominion upon the earth. My assignment, listen very carefully, my assignment is to know that every dimension of possibility in the kingdom is governed by a discovery of the principles connected to it wishing and hoping is another way to endorse delay eternally just wishing one day god will bless me one day i will be wealthy one day i will be a great man of god doing so much for the kingdom it's wonderful to be hopeful because hope maketh not a shame but hope remaining as hope will only lead to frustration it must be backed up by actions of faith praise the lord this is very powerful
so i the the way we manifest faith in the kingdom is number one we become students of scripture and students whose ears are inclined to the words of the lord he says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings he says do not let them depart from out of thy mouth keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life to those who find them a finder is also a searcher you have to search the scripture many believers are lazy and i'm trusting that by this teaching god will conquer from us that inertia that spiritual laziness that laxity to stand up and search lord what have you said about my children lord what have you said about my life what have you said about my job listen when god has not spoken about your situation there is no hope hope only comes when god speaks most times we spend time discussing our problems with people who cannot help us it may be a boss in office it may be friends and relatives as well meaning as they are it may be maybe family members it, it may be all kinds of well wishers but i am proposing to you new heritage baptist church and the body of christ and, and all the believers that that are following and will follow listen the moment you find out you are trusting god for dimensions of results in whatever area your first assignment is to go to God through his word. And the Lord appeared to Samuel in Shiloh by his word. God appears to people not just by visionary encounters alone. He appears to people by his word. The Lord appeared to Samuel in Shiloh by the word of the Lord, by his word. You will hear in scripture that on the fifth day of the sixth month of this, the word of the Lord came. So, I find out God's word concerning my health and wholeness. I find out God's word concerning my protection. And let me challenge you, it is very, very important. Go online, for instance. Gather scriptures that talk about healing. Gather scriptures that talk about prosperity. Gather scriptures that talk about your well-being. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will follow you, Lord. Hallelujah. I will follow you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will follow you, Lord. I will rest in you, Lord. God is speaking to someone. I will rest in you, Lord. Stop all the running around. It's time to rest. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will rest in you, Lord. I will call upon you, Lord. He says, who is worthy of praise? I will call upon you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will call upon you, Lord. I will rest in you, Lord. I will trust you, my God. So I find it that this is God speaking concerning my life. Joshua Selman, you will be great. I will make your name great. And I look at it. 
and nothing around my life may be showing that result but then i understand that god is a maker he's not only a maker of heaven and earth he's a maker of ministries he's the maker of destinies i allow myself to meditate now please listen very important joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 the recipe that the lord gave joshua for success that the book of the law the book that contains principles the book that contains promises the book that contains prophecies shall not depart from out of thy mouth remember it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks it says but thou shalt meditate during day and night that means be consistent that thou mayest observe we're coming there shortly So I meditate upon the word. I meditate upon the promises. Do you know what meditation does? Meditation creates convictions. When you meditate upon the word of God, the Holy Spirit begins to breathe upon that scripture and brings out the life and the power of that scripture so that you are persuaded beyond, you are persuaded beyond um, bending. You know that God is going to do this. Now, the Holy Ghost also shows you the role. Please, please pay attention. The Holy Ghost also shows you the role that you have to play in actualizing that promise. Principles lead us to receive promises. Please understand. It is not just the awareness of a promise alone. There are principles. So I give you an instance. If you are trusting God to give you... Um, say direction or let's say to grant you access to favor now you study the word of god and you find out for instance that favor is important that it is favor that helps men to rise in life you go to exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians the bible says and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty so when i see emptiness in my life i know that the diagnosis is that the favor of god has not been activated in my life but then the awareness of it does not mean i have a solution hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you